Hey guys, it's Kip from Famous by Friday Pickleball. Got a brand new paddle to review. The Cortec Alpha. I love startup companies and I love outside the box thinking. And this paddle is both. I'm gonna bounce through some of the structural things and I'm gonna say the one thing that separates this paddle from pretty much everybody else out there. This paddle is 16 and a half inches long, seven and a half inches wide. Five and a half inch grip, four and an eight circumference, all those are pretty normal. And we see those on other paddles. It's a 16 millimeter polypropylene core. Seen that before. 3K carbon fiber surface. Seen that before. This is thermoformed, unibody, all those things we've seen this before. However, the Cortec Alpha has all the cells of the polypropylene core injected with foam. This paddle should have a lot of pop and a lot of jump. The one thing I noticed right, um, right away, immediately, getting this out of the box, it does weigh 8.64 ounces. Why? Because all of these cells are injected with foam. So this paddle is very head heavy. It's gonna have a high swing weight. All that weight's out here. However, I'm very anxious to hit it and see what I'll do. I suspect the ball should just explode off of this paddle and just shoot out there. Controllable? Who knows? We'll see. I'm very anxious to get out through the courts. Love this outside the box thinking. And that Cortec has tried this. All right. Cortec Alpha. I am headed through the courts right now. I hope you are too. We'll hit this and I'll be back. All right, guys. Cortec Alpha. All right, go after a cone. Oh, that's pretty nice. <laughs> Paul hopped all the way over the fence. It's still rolling. All right, Cortec Alpha. Yeah, just easy depth, easy power off this paddle. 
I'm kind of going against a slight wind and I'm still having to tone this down a little bit. I, did to I toned that one down a little too much, but you could still see it was just straight at the target. I'm gonna knock that, knock that ball off that cone. <laughs> I kind of over adjusted a little bit. This paddle's a little tricky. It's got, it's got so much power with that foam injected core that you have to kind of dial it down just a little bit. All right, let me spin this ball. I really think this is gonna grab and spin. We'll see. Oh yeah, lots of spin. Lots of spin, really nice, really a soft feel and really grabs the ball. Yeah, really nice spin. Not tremendous spin on that ball. Let me see if I can really spin one. I think that was my fault, not the ball, not, or not the paddle. I'll try that again. <laughs> that was a terrible shot. Right, let me try that again. I think that was me, not the paddle. Let's see if I can really spin one here. Yeah. Yeah, that was much better. It, this, this paddle really spins. <laughs> it's a little uncontrollable at times, but this uh, Cortec Alpha is really a pretty good paddle. Just like any other power paddle, a little bit hard to control at times. All right, guys, I'm back. Just spent the last few weeks getting to know the new Cortec Alpha. This paddle takes a moment and you've got to spend some time with it to let it do what it wants to do and let the performance really shine. So everything I'm going to discuss comes with the caveat that I'm going to throw in right along with, with it as kind of an explanation. Because this paddle does take a little getting used to and there's a bit of a trust factor with it because it does some things differently. And you expect that because structurally it's different. So let's go through the attributes and I'm going to throw the caveats right in there with them. This battle, the paddle can be accurate and you can get control if you just let the paddle do the work. Everything that this paddle does, you get in trouble when you try and muscle it just a little bit. If you try and jump on it, the speeds actually come down and the performance goes down. You think of anything, I come from a golf background, anything that you try and do too much, you get diminished outcomes. So let this paddle do what it wants to do. The accuracy is there, the control is there if you just have a nice smooth swing. Consistency is a little bit lacking but once again, it's, it's when we try and do a little too much, I think. The consistency, you, and you expect that, it's a power paddle. When you get a pa power paddle, you lose control. When you get a control paddle, you're gonna lose power. So everything about this is power. The power is very good. My average service speed was 50.4. Yes, that's over average, but when I just swung this paddle and let it do it, the speeds went up. When I tried to really jump on it and really muscle it, the speeds went down. Once again, you gotta let this paddle do what it wants to do. Spin, incredible spin. This 3K carbon fiber surface really grabs the ball. It has a long dwell time, which kind of surprised me. The ball stays on there for quite a little while. So the spin is good. It has a nice feedback feel. It's very plush, it's very quiet. Just an enormous sweet spot. You can hit this ball pretty much anything and get the same results. This paddle is very good defense to offense. You stick this paddle in front of anything and the ball is going to go back. It does have an elevated swing weight and I think I touched on this in the opener. This paddle is 8.64 ounces. It is very head heavy because of the foam injected into the core. So the swing weight is very high. That is not my normal paddle. I do weight my paddles, but I don't like the weight out here at the end because I tend to be a little rolly and a little kind of flicky almost. But if you're a two-handed player, if you like a head-heavy paddle, this paddle is gold. So all of those things, the easy depth the e on serves and returns, the power, does it come from the foam or does it come from the swing weight and the weight, the head-heavy weight? Probably a combination of both. There's probably not a wrong answer there. So, and once again, the easy defense to offense. This paddle, you put it in front of anything, it's gonna go back. 
Where this paddle lacks a little bit is the easy to maneuver part because of the head heavy and it's a little tough to be quick at the net. Now, once you get used to it, once it does a great job when, because you don't have to do a lot with this paddle for the ball to really shoot off of it. So it's not like you have to take a swing or you don't have to really do a lot. Just let the ball hit the paddle, it's gonna go. This paddle is fascinating. I like this paddle a lot. I ended up putting a little bit of lead tape down here on the butt of the paddle to drag that weight down a little bit, and I really liked it so much better. Now, once again, that jumped it up to almost nine ounces, but it drug that weight down just a little bit. I'm anxious to hear if any of you, any of you tried this, if you've seen these, I like this paddle a lot. I am very impressed with what Cortex done here. I, I could use this. I could be out on the court and use this. It doesn't fit my game perfectly because it is head heavy, but it, it is a lot of fun to hit. Just don't over hit it. Be nice and smooth with your swing. Trust it and it's going to have performance. Even when I was hitting in the baskets, I just had to remind myself, nice smooth swing. Nice. And I started hitting the basket. When I was trying to kind of do it a little too much, I kind of scattered them a little bit. So you lose consistency the more you try to do. It's a cool paddle. I like this a lot. I, I'm, I'm, I kind of want to go back off the courts and use it just a little bit more and get used to it just a little bit more. And I think I could play with this with no problem at all. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. As like, as as always, hit like, hit subscribe, leave me a comment if you tried these. I believe they're sold out right now, and they've got a new shipment coming in. So I know people have tried these, and I know they've been out on the courts. All right, guys. It's spring. Get out and play. Cortec, good job, Cortec Alpha. All right, guys. All right, guys, it's a Cortec Alpha. Let's go after a cone. Oh my gosh, all shot off of there. Hit the cone on the way back. I don't think that's the plan. <laughs> 